Hey guys, welcome back to Autofun. Alex the Car Guy here, and today we're gonna be working on the Shelby. The ideal oil separator setup for a GT350 is two oil separators, one located on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. The passenger side seems to be the one that will collect most of the oil, and I will definitely prioritize it over the driver's side if on a budget. To install the passenger side oil separator, this line must be removed. It is locked in place by this gray clips. Pulling on these clips and pulling up releases the line. Here's a close-up of the clips. I first unlock one clip and pull, then unlock the other and pull. This harness clip must be gently released. I use a special tool meant for body clips, but pliers work just as well. These two clips will secure the oil separator in place. One clip goes here, and the other here. To avoid losing any clips in the process of mounting the unit, I first line up the separator, and then I insert the clips. Here's the first one. Push it in, and push to lock. Now for the second one, it gets inserted and push to lock. Now I install the new line that comes with the kit. First I connect this side by gently pushing it in, and then I connect the other side to the separator. Nice and easy, there it goes, there you go, now it's locked in place. Note how I further adjusted the line by pushing it down to remove any possible kinking. Finally, I install the other line by inserting it into its position here and then to the separator by pushing it here. This thing looks so good installed, just gorgeous. And the Ford Performance logo complements the engine bay so well. Well that's it for now, but I got more Chevrolet videos coming out. Consider subscribing if you haven't and thanks for watching.